So yeah, basically we've just got a little kind of uh, closet here. As you can see, the door doesn't open because the floor is all buckled. Um, but we're going to replace all these tiles, as I said. And there's a little ladder here that allows you to go to a trap door that you can get into above the rafters and then into the attic above us. And we're going to probably remove some shelves here we're going to remove, put a water heater in there and, you know, do an electrical panel, that sort of thing. We have to have multiple ones here, so we're going to be putting one of them probably in here. Uh, and anyways, let's go on to the bathroom. I'll show you what we've got to work with. So this would have been the main bathroom in the house. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely 60s. It's pretty cool. So my wife actually wants to keep the sink and we're going to move it down into her workshop or uh, craft room or whatever you want to call it where she does a jewelry and other kind of things so she just likes it i think it's a pretty cool sink uh, we don't want to throw it out and uh yeah why not use it in there uh, for the rest of this bathroom our plan is is to remove this remove the tub remove the bidet remove the toilet remove the shower and completely reorganize everything however we're thinking of keeping these alcoves so what we might do is just reorganize things. So what we're thinking of doing is towards the front where the shower is, this, the walk-in shower, we're gonna put the toilet. We're gonna to put the sink, like a double sink, right here where the bathtub is. And then we're gonna have a huge, well, big walk-in shower here. Uh, I may actually insert a window, a round porthole window, which we have in this house quite a bit. We have one in our ensuite, and then we have one in the kitchen where the marble sink is. Uh, so I may add one in here if we get permission we have to ask for it but we probably could uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to have once again we my wife loves the samantha loves the tub in front of the window thing so we're going to put a uh, kind of a standing clawfoot tub here on the edge of this wall and you'll be able to look out and see birds and clouds and stuff but anyways yeah a lot to do in here once again i got to remove the floor straighten it all out and uh, otherwise, we're not going to go crazy. We're not going to have too many uh, embellishments with plaster. We may put a ceiling rose in here. We'll probably have a chandelier in here hanging over the tub, or at least in the center of this room. And then we're also going to have like LED lights for over the sink and in the shower and stuff like that. So that's the plan for this room. We also have a kind of built-in closets that we're probably going to keep. They don't look so bad. It's a good medicine chest or whatever. So uh, but anyways, yeah, that's our plan. Now let's head down and uh, take a look out the back of the garden.